Hi guys, we're doing a pack with me video. I'm going to Europe for a week, going to Paris. You guys have been watching my videos. I talked about it so much, so I'm sorry. I'm going to Paris, Amsterdam, and London. It's a quick trip. I only have like 24 hours in Paris and then like basically two days in the next two places. It's also New Year's Eve. It's also cold and my like favorite thing in the world is outerwear, so like that's the stressful part. I travel a lot. I would say I'm like a good packer. Like I typically make a list and be like, these are certain outfits, but I never try on outfits for trips literally ever. And I'll be doing that today. And I'm just not the best. Like I throw random things into the, into the uh, suitcase and hope that it works. You know, I'm going to be trying my next video. is going to be a travel routine vlog too, where I take you through like the products that I use and all that stuff. And just like different things I do that like make my life easier. So I hope you guys enjoy my pack with me vlog. I have two packages coming in today. I have one from Hill House. I bought a puffer from them. I don't know if I'm going to bring it to Europe or not. I might bring it on like a ski trip soon. And then um, I have some more gloves coming from Bandier. We're starting off by making a list of everything that I need to pack. We're going to make basically a list of outfits and just see what we're going for. Okay, so I basically wrote out every outfit that I need and then I'll need a return travel, but like whatever. I'm trying to pack very smart. I know I need a lot of layers and really I can get away with wearing Uggs, jeans, outerwear, sweater, scarf thing every day. You know what I mean? Like it's not gonna be anything too crazy, but I will feel a lot better if I have it all planned, which again, I normally don't do but we are this time. I've decided that I'm going to try on all of my like nice dinner outfits. I need around four and I have some dresses. So I'm gonna try these on and make sure I like them. Okay, this is my New Year's Eve look. It's not zipped up in the back. I don't have anyone to zip it up, but I got these tights from um, Amazon. And then I have these shoes from Steve Madden. It sucks that like I have to wear these with my New Year's Eve look because I'm gonna have to lug around these huge heels all week while I'm there when I'm like literally only gonna wear them once. But honestly, like they're worth it for the look. This is the look. It's gonna look better when it's like actually up, you know? But I love it. Like it's just so me and it's perfect, especially for New Year's Eve because this isn't my year of pink, you know? <music> this outfit I'm kind of bored by. Like it's nothing crazy, but it'll be nice. With a coat, you know what? Let's see if this one will look cute with that. I forgot to try the coat. I mean, there's this one, and there's just like my black coat that I'll probably wear. This coat is just so big and such a commitment, but I bought it. This is not the right cut for this dress, but I bought it really just for like one, a one day outfit, I think. I don't know, we'll figure it out. I'll probably travel with this on just because it's the biggest thing. This one's white, I don't know. I'm thinking it'll be white and black. It's just like classic, like more elegant, you know, that kind of vibe. Nothing crazy. Um, it'll also look better when I like am ready and I have like glow stuff on my skin. Okay, I'm not that crazy about this dress. I thought this was gonna be the one that I really love because it doesn't actually like fit me here well. I'm thinking if I do like fashion tape though, it'll be fine. It's just like a little, oh wait, this is the tie, I'm an idiot. Okay, I tied it like a little bit better. I don't know, like I always love the idea of a dress like this. I don't know, like I don't love the way like my legs look when they're cut here, even though there's like barely any legs, so I feel like that's literally crazy. But like this in a black coat, you know, a little nice thinner out and then my mean bean bag. Went outside, looked at this dress in the mirror and I actually like it a lot more. I think it's just kind of like elegant, classic, timeless, you know? This is from Princess Polly, so like nothing crazy, but I do really like it. This look is amazing. I wasn't even planning on wearing this. First off, I have like sticky boobs on right now, but it's backless. I just got this dress from Mesh Key. I wasn't even planning on wearing it with the black tights and black heels, but that's just what I tried on before. Um, and I kind of like it, like paired with this and then the black coat. I feel like I will wear this dress so many other times. Like I would wear this, and not that I'm going to Coachella. Like I would wear this to Coachella with a bathing suit on underneath. You know what I would wear this to? Stagecoach. This bathing suit and cowboy boots is what I would do. But I feel like to make this more winter, I'm gonna wear like a black 
coat with it, call it a day. Um, I can't see myself, like it's totally mesh, so like I do need to wear tights. I just think it's so fun, you know? Very shiny, shimmery, such a good dress. The quality is incredible. I just love it. Guys, I am dressed like a literal teddy bear. This is the best thing ever. I'm obsessed. This coat is Revolve. This is Zara, and if I need to, I can layer more. I'm gonna wear this from Paris to Amsterdam. We're taking a three hour train ride, and then we're gonna just gonna like walk around later. So I figure that, the, well, I don't know, because we'll be even in Paris that morning. I'm not, I'm, I can't imagine that we're actually gonna like do things in Paris. We'll probably be home on New Year's Eve. I don't know, it's really cute. I've gotta decide. Okay, this is my Paris look during the day. I might wear the beanie too. I won't have my hair pulled back when I wear the beanie. Um, I just have my black trench coat on this sweater, which is cropped, and I didn't realize that. So I will bring another one as backup that isn't cropped. And then I have the O'Kind scarf and beanie. And part of me is like, I kind of want to wear the pink. And I'm not normally like a pink with black sort of girl. Like I like white and pink. So I feel like, I mean, as cute. Oh my God, it's so cute. Wait. It's like really, really, really cute. But I want to wear the gray as well. Like I don't want every single photo to be in this pink scarf, you know? I might wear the puff bag with this. Oh my God, it's like so cute. Oh my God. Um, so, surprise, surprise. These drop later in January. Can't take myself seriously with my hair pulled back. I wish I had earmuffs. Like I would kill for earmuffs. Maybe I'll buy some while I'm there. Anyways, this outfit is super cute. Abercrombie pants. Princess Polly turtleneck, mango jacket, and then I have my Prada loafers and I'll have the puff bag. This is cute with it too, actually very cute with it, but I feel like I'm gonna want the puff bag because I'm gonna want my big vlog camera. So I don't know, vote in the comments what you guys think. It's really just gonna come down to how many outfits I style the pink stuff with and how many outfits I style the gray with. So for now, I'm gonna stick to the gray because I will have other ones for the pink. Okay, I was kind of unsure of this one just because I feel like it's almost like a little too casual and I don't know how I feel about this actual sweater underneath, but I am gonna have other long sleeves that I can like alternate. Also, I'm like, what do we, is it, yeah, the pinks kind of clash, I guess. Something about this, we're going back to the drawing board. Give me a second. Okay, I'm kind of thinking, I just fixed what was off about the outfit. Oh yeah, cause it's colorful. Yeah, I definitely like this. Ignore how this, okay, and it's, Literally side oh wow. Woo. Imagine my long blonde hair. This is much better and I'm definitely very into this and it's so pink and I love it. I'll be wearing my puff bag this day, which I can't wait until we have colors and aren't like black and harsh with this just because I feel like the there's one that we have coming out that would be two actually that would be perfect. But the puff bag is my favorite and it's the only thing that carries everything. So we'll be wearing the puff bag with this, which is still gonna be really cute. I'm happy now. Okay, so this outfit, I'm not as like thrilled about either. It's just kind of boring. I wear the black coat with it or like, I don't know. I'm just trying to do like a brown look, but I'm like, that's another scarf that I have to bring. So that would actually just kind of be a pain. I might actually, I think boring might be borrowing that, but oh, you know what? Oh, yep. This is it. The gray scarf completes it. It looks so much better now. Cute. So this is gonna be just like a chill London day, layering up mittens, all that stuff. I pretty much decided the Hill House puffer is not going on this trip, um, just this stuff. But yeah, this is cute. I'm worried it's gonna be not warm enough, but I, I do have other layers that I can add and I can wear a hat if I need to. Realize I didn't dress night outfits for Amsterdam and I've decided like, I'm semi-dressing up for like every dinner. So I feel like we're gonna be out and like whatever, you know? Um, I have my coat on from Revolve. This dress is actually also Revolve. I'm gonna be wearing tights underneath, obviously. Um, I just don't put them back on. Then I have my favorite kitten heels, Sam Edelman. I need a bean bag. It's just like more fun, you know? Other night look for Amsterdam. I have this cute little top on that I feel like adds so much. But if it's too cold, I can just always wear black long sleeve turtleneck. I mean, being a bag, obviously, um, for a coat, just making sure I'm getting use out of everything I'm bringing. But this is like so cute. Like this is so fun. I have these kitten heels that are literally saving me for Europe and I just love it. I'm sorry guys, like this is such a look. I This was randomly thrown together and I'm obsessed. Like if I don't wear it now, I will be wearing it at another time. It's just so fun. I love it. 
so fun. Okay, I only have two more fits to choose minus my travel fit, which is going to be two days in London. This is for some reason becoming difficult for me, so I need to figure it out. I like cannot take myself seriously with this beanie. Okay, this is a really bland, kind of boring, simple outfit, but I feel like it matches London, like just a chill day. Yes, I'm wearing Uggs. I can wear the Prada loafers if I'm feeling it. I probably wear the beanie as well. And then obviously the puff bag. But I think like, I think this is like what I'm gonna go with. Cause it's just cozy. I can layer up, I can get cozier. Like I can just be really warm. So this is what we're gonna go with. It's nothing crazy, but this is the fit. <sighs> Next outfit. I know I said I don't typically like black and pink. There's something about it in this outfit that I do like. I don't know what it is. I'm just, maybe it's just because it reminds me of like childhood. So I feel like I don't like it anymore. I don't know, even though I wear like most of the stuff I wore as a child. I don't know what it is, but like, I actually do like it with this fit. So I'm wearing the Prada loafers, the Abercrombie pants. The only thing that sucks is that I feel like these pants are gonna get stretched out and obviously I won't be able to wash them. But it'll be fine. Um, really cute. And I'm supposed to be buying, I have this, my eye on this like pink Saint Laurent bag. And ideally, I would buy it in this outfit because I match the bag, you know? Or I'd at least be able to wear it with it. It's so cute. Puff bag would look incredible with this. Like, I just love it. I'm in. So I think I'm done with my outfits. I will pack one loungy outfit um, just in case I'm like running to do something that I don't want to get dressed. Um, and then I have like pajamas and we'll, we're gonna move on to other stuff, but we have the outfits done. Okay, so I have everything out there. I'm packing four extra just like long sleeve t-shirts as basics. I have a list as well of just like miscellaneous closet things that I need. Um, and I'm making a list of products and some ones I start moving into that. But first off, I'm gonna go through like socks, underwear, bras, all that stuff and just make sure I have it all. for lounge even though it doesn't really make sense because I should be wearing my thickest stuff but I have these sweatpants that are from Aerie and they're like not flattering and not like super cute by any means but they're so comfy and then I just have this long sleeve gray shirt so it's like really not super cute I'm just gonna keep it light underneath because I'm gonna have to obviously wear probably my big fur coat I'm assuming that's probably the only hope and potentially even a scarf, but I really, really don't want to do that if I don't have to. Um, I'll wear like big socks and Uggs or something. Now it is time for me to bring out, oh God, the suitcase. What did I do here? Dom has boxes that she hasn't taken from here. Tragic. Okay, it's not looking good. It's not at all. So my suitcase is base. Um, I love it. I use it like legit all the time. I need to take all this stuff off. I think it's from the Tezza collection. I got it a while ago. Really just the perfect suitcase. So seeing how much we're gonna fit in here is really gonna be the big shocker. I also am gonna put my New Year's Eve dress in this bag and then put it in my carry-on and then also put the black pants in my carry-on just like safety precautions, you know, just to like make sure. So I just got this bag, if you guys saw my recent week of my life vlog. I just got that bag. Um, it's the large everywhere bag from Away. And it seems to be a good one. Oh, I have my converters in here. So what I'm gonna do is put this in here, these heels since I'm wearing them 24 seven, and then just like one little outfit to get me by if I, if need be. Knock on wood because I normally not this prepared. So I'm gonna start bringing in the clothes to figure out what all we can do.
All right, I'm actually surprised by how much I've been able to fit in there. I got two new Rare Beauty products today. I'm excited, I haven't tried them yet. I'll try them when I'm there. I'm not gonna wear makeup until then. Um, this is the Illuminating Primer, and then I got the mascara because I've heard amazing things. I'm going to make sure I'm not bringing things that I don't need to bring. I want to bring my new Makeup by Mario palette that I got, and I'm just making sure. I have a whole um, makeup brush bag now, but where did it go? This unfiltered body glow, I need that. Here it is. Found it. Eyelash curler, NARS palette, Dior palette, moisturizer just in case I really need it, dibs. It looks like I have everything in here because I, I do also have these like cute little hair bows in case I want to wear them. I just got them because I thought they were fun. I don't know. They're also inexpensive, so I was like, whatever. Okay, so here's my makeup bag. This is a Sony Clover bag. Love it so much. For full-size items that I know I'm gonna wanna bring, this Morphe setting spray is next level, and I know this looks unfiltered spray, and then also this, um, oh, you know what? I should bring a dip stick. Also this dry shampoo and this restyling stuff. We'll go into my bathroom soon enough. I also got backups for skincare just to make sure I don't run out because that's like the worst thing. My skin's already breaking out and then I just like, I can't deal. Bag, I don't know where that's gonna go. I love my Kosas makeup brushes. Like I use them all the time. They're so good. Little small makeup bag. I'm gonna put my makeup in here. I don't know if I'm gonna have a bag for my bigger stuff. I also have these micellar cleansy towels are pretty big, but I brought them to like do skincare on the plane. You need to wash your face first. So that's that. I also will have the um, puff bag with me, which carries so much stuff. So that will be nice. I have the European converters. I'm bringing two with me. Okay, so in my bathroom, I am gonna be bringing this curling iron. I'm hoping to really not have to do my hair much because I'm gonna get a blowout Friday and then I'm just gonna really hope for the best. Maybe curl the ends a little bit. That's gonna be it. I have my brush. This is my skincare bag. Just packing it with the stuff that I know I will need this week. So skin cleanser, Tatcha, this. I'm almost out of this, so I'm just gonna keep this here. Lots of Q-tips. Okay, I have toothpaste and a toothbrush. Okay, we've got that going. I'm gonna want this remystifying or this mystify restyling spray in case I do, oh, hello. In case I do restyle, I mean, I will restyle my hair. I'm just hoping to avoid doing it as much as possible. I'll need a razor. These are all under, yeah, all under three ounces, okay. I feel like that's pretty much it, honestly. Cause I already have like my stuff for my legs and everything. I feel like we're good. I have my Morphe setting spray that I cannot go without. Blurring lotion and then a little restyling spray. That'll go in here somehow. I also need to put the other shoes in here. So actually I'm really not packing like that many shoes. These are the only pair that are kind of just like excess, like really very extra. It's actually really annoying how much room they're gonna take up. Like I wish that I could just like have them for a night there and they would be gone, but whatever. Okay, skincare I will want in my carry-on bag. Curling iron can go in here. I'll take a brush. Honestly guys, like I have a good amount of room besides these stupid, stupid shoes. Like the fact that it's taking up this much space when I really don't have that much space is driving me insane. You don't wanna see. Hold on, it doesn't work like that, in case you were wondering. I also thought about bringing self-tanner, but I don't wanna do that. What I am gonna do is bring Lux Unfiltered. Okay, so I have this tanner, which will do just a fine job. It's like basically the only part of my body people are really gonna see after a certain amount of days, so like whatever, you know? I can definitely fit a second coat. I just feel like I'm forgetting things that are like obvious, but I, I don't really think that I am. Maybe I bring this in back bean bag in here. I'm like really shocked by how much space I have. I really need to let roll this coat, so give me a give me some time. <sighs> Cause I am like sweating in here. It's very hot. Okay. So my new gloves came in. I'll show you them in a second. They're so cute and I feel like I'm gonna wear them all the time. I also ordered these, which are also tech gloves. I only have brown gloves. Those are tech gloves, the other ones, like my fingers come out, which I feel like is just way better, like I'm gonna be filming, you know? I made myself some Olipop, or I poured Olipop into a glass, whatever. My new neck pillow I'm gonna try, I got it on Amazon. I ordered like a cute matching one from Cowpack that matches like my eye mask. I have another eye mask coming in today. But the eye mask, 
hasn't they haven't come in so we'll do that for the next trip anyways getting the lint off of this coat is going to be the most difficult thing i've ever done like i try all the time this was clean two seconds ago so it's crazy like it's actually really bad i'm already through an entire sheet already all right, I just packed up my bag. I will show more of like what's actually in my carry-on and stuff in my travel routine, like more in depth, but I have like, I've already shown you guys this, we're working on Kindle sleeves. So I have my Kindle sleeve and I also put like a journal in there. Sony Clover, these are all like lip products. I have my headphones. Um, I need to go my passport, um, cards, like all that stuff. So all that's ready. This bag can zip up. So like when I'm actually shopping in the city, it can, zip and it's gonna be totally fine um because i'll just like take out my headphones and stuff it's just for the flight so we need to try to get the black coat in this suitcase so i have these pouches that i'm gonna use one of them for chargers once i'm actually hello once i'm actually um packing up chargers and i'm gonna put it in here but i actually think we're gonna be totally fine yeah totally fine packing this i got like really easy okay let's see i mean i don't want to put this up yet because i want to take a photo of everything so i know that's totally fine this will be travel which is like not a big deal i can wear a scarf and whatnot and then this is that i definitely have room for i just feel like i'm missing obvious things and i i don't think i am i mean like it would even be awesome if I could fit the gray scarf, which I could if it were for these stupid pink shoes and not have to wear, yeah, I think I can. And I'm not gonna have to wear all of this like actually on the plane. But like part of me is like, will I want to wear that on the plane? You know what I mean? Like, will I be cold? I don't know. It's a long travel day. So let's see. This is like the least cute travel outfit pretty much ever. Just finished packing. I will do like last minute things. I need to throw in like a bag for chargers and that stuff, but I will be doing that until tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed my pack with me video. I feel so prepared. Look at what I have. All of my Europe fits right here. I mean, that is like a total game changer. Like made my life so much easier. Oh my God. I'm sweating from packing and that took me like three hours. I don't know if I'm ever gonna dedicate three hours again to packing, but I'm feeling good. If you guys are new here, subscribe and stay tuned for my travel routine vlogs and all of the Europe travel vlogs. Hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Also, I need to date older. That's been my other issue, especially like dating, like especially when I was like 23. That was such a, like a, it's a, it's a rough time yeah. for anyone, that, but especially guys. That I wonder if you'll stick to because I, that was like for sure on my non-negotiables and my husband's my age and like it's, Fine. Okay, so it's not on my non-negotiables. I would actually rather date someone who's my age. Yeah. But I think right now, everyone that I know that is my age, just like in my like circle of people, I'm like, I could never.